while the yurt you're about to see in this tour is not made by this company, we're featuring some of the work coming up on RelaxedShacks.com, talking about GroovyYurts.com, whose work, as you can see, is pretty darn amazing. Marty. Do we want to do another coat before we do the roof? Yeah, you can. Okay. Anyone else? Hey, Dee. You want to see the yurt? Yes, I want to see it. Most certainly. Right. I'm just kind of getting a. Uh, yeah, let's head over there. I'm just kind of getting an ambiance or establishing shot here of the mayhem that's been going on here at the Tiny House Building Workshop. 2013. This is Kerry Cooper. Now, Kerry's an attendee at the workshop as we bypass some more hardworking people. And she emailed me a ways back saying, uh, would it be cool if I brought a yurt? I said, absolutely not. No, I said, of course. So, by the way, we're bypassing some former pool liner from Paul Civita. He had a great idea. Why not make this into uh, roofing or flooring, which we just might do later on. Recycling at its best. There he is, in fact. All right. So. I'm recycling. <laughs> All right, so first give, yeah, first give us a little backstory on this place, size right. and so forth. Yeah, so this is a 16-footer. Okay. So it has about 200 square feet inside. It looks a lot smaller on the outside than it does on the inside. Yeah. This was actually a wedding, which is just immensely... Yeah, how do you compare to, I mean... You can't. The next person <laughs> line who gives you like a... Who registers for this? A bread maker or a toaster must have felt like, like a chump. Wah, wah. Yeah. <laughs> No, so I have a best friend, uh, Carl Ryder, out in Pennsylvania, and he started building yurts. This is like eight years ago. He built one for himself, and then he wanted to build one for me because in Mongolian tradition, the woman comes with all the property and the goats okay. and all that. So I got married, and they wanted to make me a yurt because I didn't have one, and I should as a married woman. Um, so I resisted for a couple months and said, no way, it's too generous, I can't take it. And then they called me one day and said they started to work on it already. Yeah, what too late. What color did yeah. I want it? Yeah. So at that point I was in, I said Dutch door, because as a little girl I always wanted sort of like that fairy tale Dutch door. And a also... A.K.A. the Mr. Ed door. Yeah. And also in the morning I like to make my coffee and then I just pop this out and I lean out and talk to everybody. And Disney camp. style birds land on your perch. Absolutely. Chirping. I don't know about birds. But. <laughs> Raccoons <laughs> sniffing the Doritos within. Right? What's with the hand, Carrie? You know what? Uh, somebody put it up there. Yeah, gee, I wonder who put that there. <laughs> it scared the crap out of me about an hour yeah. ago because it's right at the right level. If only we could have rigged it so it fell on you in the morning as, that you, been the best, as you emerged. I did scream when I saw it. Yeah. It's got me twice now. Like All right. So let's, head, yeah, let's head inside, away from the... Oh, this is cool. The terrifying hand. Yeah, this is actually quite a bit of room. Yeah, so... It's a bit of a mess now. I had a lot of guests last night because it was pretty cold and we wanted it to be warmer in here. I'm going to try to get a shot of this. Cool. Yeah, I just took the roof cover off for you so yeah. you can look right out the smoke hole. So you could have, yeah, we could have a fire in here. Yeah, you absolutely. In fact, what I did is sort of pseudo set up one here so you would see where the Mongolian hearth or fire pit would have been. Yeah. Because this is where they would cook, stay warm, you know, and then it would go right up out the top. So, now, the overall height in here is probably in the center, eight feet maybe, or more, I don't I know. Think, no, I think eight sounds right. Eight, yeah, that's yeah, pretty yeah. pretty decent. Yep. I like you got the hanging storage here, like yeah, the Ikea hanging baskets, up yeah. to show you how it goes. Um, Some cool, cool lanterns. To the wall, like here's just my camping. Yep. <laughs> so it's all there, you don't have to worry about I'm it. I'm a sucker for lanterns in this one over here. It's beautiful. Very cool, and at night it must be almost... It's gorgeous. I rarely use the word magical, but... <laughs> Yeah, no. There's Funky. another one over there. So the other night I had a lot of the lanterns lit up just so you could get the ambiance. Yeah. And when we take it out for a two-week trip or so, we really deck it out. I mean, we have wall hangings all over the walls. The floors are covered with gorgeous rugs. We bring a bed and a bed box so we're up off the floor, and it looks yeah. like a really great house. This is just, you know, I'm too busy building. You left a bunch of your underwear <laughs> out over there. I'm just what? kidding. I'm... <laughs> I was so careful. Yeah. Um, now this is, yeah, very, very spacious. And this space basically is just a reinforced, I mean, it looks like a plywood ring with a bunch of spacers yep. um, between and some uh, some metal strapping, if you will. Yeah, right, just so kind that the smoke hoops, will cover. Hoops, yeah, just 
can ride up bent. and over. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. And there's the uh, leafless trees above because it is November. November. And last night the campfire was like 25 degrees or yeah. something. It was yeah. fun though. It was but her fun. yurt was nice and warm thanks yep. to the power of methane <laughs> with all the guests within. That's right. Yeah. And so the walls are amazing. It's one of my favorite parts of the yurt. Is that if you look, there's this huge wall, right? That does 16. I'm going to attempt the 360. Keep talking. And what's amazing to me is you look at these walls and they look like baby gates. Yeah, now, pretty much. Now, there's only two pieces here. The whole wall is only two pieces. So if you think about folding up a baby gate and you pull from the outside in, right? It sandwiches in, 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 in. These walls fold up to about this wide. Yeah, I was going to ask how, yeah. yeah I mean, I saw wide. you I saw you setting up, but I was busy setting up the workshop myself, so I didn't really get a feel for how compact this becomes. It's really compact. I mean, like, you can put it in a little compact car. The only thing you'd have to do is, like, maybe strap just the door frame. You can break that down, but the door itself yeah. will probably have to be because it wouldn't go inside. But the great thing, like we were saying, is you pull it together, it's about this wide when it's closed up and about 11 feet tall. And there's just two of those that stack on top of each other. Then the canvas is one continuous piece. It goes all the way around the yurt. So that's another piece of canvas, like this. Then just the roof cover, a smaller piece of canvas. Yeah. And then finally the smoke hole cover. How, now how old is this now? Eight years. Okay, how does the canvas hold up over the right. years of using it? Yeah. Do you have to like add any or spray it with anything? or? No, it came. They had already treated it. They had okay. fireproofed it. Everything that you have to do for a regular tent. Yeah. Um, and for regular canvas, so it's all been fireproofed. And for tension, I see there's that big orange like you know what? ratchet band there. That's just to make you feel better. It's not actually necessary at all. Yeah, that's so it doesn't splay outward uh -huh. in theory. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So that goes on before the roof even goes up. Yeah. And so does the steel cable. So this way when the roof, the uh, the you know rafters, if you will, as they're pushing outward, they're not gonna knock down the wall. Yeah, well, and the downward force too won't let them, because the downward force, all this weight on the Hana wall. Hana is the Mongolian word Okay. for this, baby, what I call a baby gate. What I like most in here is just all the diffused light coming through the uh -huh. roof. It's great. Well, on sunny days, it's gorgeous. And moonlit nights, it looks all glowy. And if you had a fire in here, forget about it. Uh -huh. All right. Hey, thank you so much for the tour. Again, Car my pleasure. Carrie Cooper, and thanks for coming, trekking all the way out here and setting this up at the workshop. No problem. We'll see you later.